Hey babes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Your girl Rosie here with a new video. I feel like this intro is weird like every time I try to say that. <laughs> um, but anyways, also don't mind my lipstick. It is the end of the day. It's faded now. I don't feel like reapplying it at the end of the night. But this is the look. We're going to do a mermaid look with mermaid tail eyeliner. And... And it's a little faded now at the end of the day. And it was my first time trying it. But I'm for it being rushed and my first time trying it, yes, it could be better, but I'm happy with how it turned out. And I want to share it with all of you. So here is the mermaid eyeliner tail look. I look because I know a lot of mermaid looks are done with a whole bunch of crazy glitter all over the face and I just wanted to put a new twist to it. So here's this and if you want to continue if you want to continue watching and learn how to do this look then this is the look if we can see yeah okay anyways but yeah so if you want to keep watching and learn how to do it then let's get into the video. Okay so we're going to obviously prime the eyes first. Okay, honestly, I'm going to be using like three different palettes. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing this. I'm just having an idea in my mind and kind of winging it. I just but I have this idea and I feel like it'll turn out well. I'm excited. It's cute. So I want to share it with you guys. So I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and the BH Cosmetics Supernova palette and the BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. So, we're going to get creative. We're going to have some fun. Um, I don't even know if I'll use all three. I just have all three for inspiration and we're going to see what happens. So, we're going to start with the Jaclyn Hill palette and go in with the purple shade in the color Royalty. It's the purple shade with no not that one and the flat shader crease brush and just put it halfway in the crease I'm going to take the dark blue from the Aurora Lights palette called Magnetic and put that next to the purple. Just because the blue in the Jaclyn Hill palette, sometimes people tell me that it looks purple so then they blend together and we're not having that. So we're just going to make sure that it looks blue. We take the dark blue and put it next to the purple. brush is broken um an angled brush and your concealer and we're going to conceal right here to clean this up because she got a little messy go back with the Jaclyn Hill palette and take the color Jada yeah Jada it's like a, 
like a light greenish and kind of just where's my brush okay with the small blending brush you're gonna put that color in the inner corner inner corner and outer corner we're gonna make yeah we're gonna make a halo eye with this Try to leave some room though up top, right here. But if you don't, that's okay. I have an idea for that. Honestly, this is by far one of my favorite colors in this palette. So back with the Jaclyn Hill palette with the shade Pool Party. It is a shimmery, it's like a shimmery bluish green. I'm just going to put that in between the regular shade. If you were able to leave a little space in between, and if not, maybe conceal that, or just take a glitter eyeliner, and you can do that with this look, with this part. But I'm gonna use an eyeshadow, take the Supernova palette with the shade Gemini, because it's like a little bit of a silvery gray sparkle, and we're just gonna put that right in the middle of the seam of crease. Okay, go back with the Oh, it's right next to me. Okay, so go back with this Jaclyn Hill palette with the super nude neutral shade. We're just going to put this. Wait, do we want to be magical? Yeah, yeah we do. Okay, dust that off. Take the color off. Change my mind. I'm going to take the Supernova palette with the shade Pegasus, which is a very, very sparkly color. I'm going to take that one and put that on the Bravo. We're just going to let our sparkles shine. I'm gonna go, where did I put them? Oh my goodness, it's right here. I'm gonna go wet my beauty sponges really quick. So I'm really pushing my luck here. So I'm gonna take the sponge and just conceal under eyes. Okay, I will take my black crayon, Physicians Formula Retractable Crayon, and just a little bit on my waterline, very light. Back my palette. And the small brush back with the jade color. Or 
Do the purple. Go with the purple first. Purple, then go with the jade color. With the greener color underneath the purple. The, okay, let me shut this. Let me shut this. The tattoo liner by Kat Von D. This is where it's gonna get fun. We're gonna make a mermaid tail. So it's kind of. I'm gonna start from here. This actually kind of already looks like it, because that is not like lined perfectly. Hold on. I'm gonna make her sharp. There you go. Now she's sharp. Okay. mermaid tail since you have your mermaid tail actually get extra detailed just kind of make the lines inside the tail in the scales Okay, my lines kind of all combined it together. I don't know what just happened. I'm pushing my luck, I'm pushing my luck. All right, so we're gonna go in with this small round brush. It's like flat on top. Back with the pool party color and jade. Just kind of mix those together in the tail. Just because I'm going off of the Little Mermaid and the Little Mermaid's tail is green, so we can be green. Then take your favorite mascara, the Voluminous Butterfly Intensive Mascara is mine, and put that on your top lashes. And then your second favorite mascara, or whichever one works best for you, the Flawless Disposition Angel Mascara is my other favorite, and it works best for me because of the wand. I love it for my bottom lashes, so I'm going to put that on my bottom lashes. Crooked again. Okay, this is the finished eyes, and I did put a little gold in the inner corner. So now I'm going to go in with the face and contour my nose with the NYX Wonder Stick.
taking my angled brush with my hula bronzer and bronzing, contouring a little 3E effect. I'm late. Okay, take another angled brush. I'm taking my Adeline Morin X Tart palette and using the blush and the highlighter. Well, the highlighter later, but the blush now. Take the highlighter on my cheekbones, temples, and my nose. I'm gonna go in with I'm going to take a varied colored lipstick and just apply lipstick. Forget your setting spray, which I'm almost out of. Yeah. I don't feel lighting, but like let's yeah. finished rain rainbow not rainbow that was the last video <coughs> so that's the finished mermaid look the mermaid tail eyeliner Stop. oh okay i thought this died for a second i was gonna be really sad Oof. so that is the finished mermaid tail eyeliner look i hope y'all enjoyed this video enjoyed this look thank y'all so much for watching because i know i enjoyed this and i'm finally starting to i have been but like now actually fully starting to do what i love doing in my crazy makeup and now i'm getting on videos and showing people how to do it and showing you guys and sharing it all with you and i am loving it and i'm having so much fun with it so thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you liked it and any other suggestions and just some nice comments. 
and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload my next video and yeah I love y'all so much have a wonderful night